Well, hello, Amber. Hello, all my fluid art friends. I am so glad to see somebody here. You must have been waiting, hon, because it said one waiting. <laughs> I was playing around with them earlier, and I seem to have gotten ink all over my cups. So I guess I'm just going to have to try to work around them. I've got heavyweight Yupo paper here. Hello, Melinda. I've got heavyweight Yupo here. I decide, I didn't put the colors down because I was kind of like torn between what I would do. So I got my Bria Reese inks out. I got medium magenta. I don't know if that's going to focus. I've got rose, which is like a lighter one, kind of like a pink. And I found my... Oh, hello, Marilyn. Welcome. We call ourselves the DFD squad here. And our squad goals are to make art. Hello, Roxy, and hello, Sally. Anyway, um, um, I've got Prussian blue in here. I found that, actually. So, what I'm going to do is... I was trying to figure out how to put the alcohol inks on here without getting it muddy. I've seen people put them in cups and then add some alcohol, 91% alcohol to it, and then put it on the paper. I seem to get mud doing that. So, oh, I don't know why it's still doing those um, little eye cards. Sorry about that. I'll have to fix those when I get off. So anyway, I'm going to just try putting some alcohol down, putting some colors down, and, and hopefully not getting mud. And so I'm going to put some 91% alcohol down. Thank you so much, Amber. Okay. And then I always shake the bottles up before I open them for the first time. Look at that. That is a pretty... I, I love my Prussian blue. Every Anybody who watches um, Tisha's channel over on the... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Saturday Night Shenanigans. Um, she knows I love Prussian blue. Okay. And this is the uh, rose. Okay. Now, what I... I don't know a whole lot about... Um, I don't know a whole lot about... Um, um, alcoholing some bubbles, but I've watched a lot of videos, so I do know that you want to put your inks down and get them all spread out, and then you're going to dry them a little bit. So, I've got my inks down. Ugh, come on. And I will dry them a little bit before I put the cups down. But let me see about getting them spread out. Without making mud, hopefully. See, I'm already getting mud with that blue. It's turning into purple. Let me get some of this off. Looks like I got a little bit too much on there. I knew I was going to get purple putting down... Putting down the um, uh, pink with the blue, but I love my Prussian blue. Okay, I'm just drawing it just a little bit. I got a build up at the edge, and what I always do when I got a build up is I take it and I tap it. Let it fall off onto the um onto the um paper the paper towel. You go through a lot of paper towels doing this, I hate to say it. Okay. Now I've got my cups. I like to use the heavy glass ones. I get them, I got a whole slew of them at the thrift store not too long ago. So I'm gonna put 
this one here. Uh, not doing a whole lot of bubbles because this is not that big of a piece of paper. I'll do one right there. Uh, I'm going to do a big one over here. Uh, there it is. I was looking for my other shot glass. Well, hello, Miss Tish. Oh, okay. Usually when you do computer research, it's helping the rest of us. Because you find out things we need to know. Okay, I'm going to put one right here. Wanted some of them touching. And... Let me put this big one right here. Okay, now they're all down. Oh, this one slid already. Um, now I know that you want to... Um, I'm using... Oh, forgot to show you this. I'm using the Conair. It's had a brush attachment and I just took it off. And I use it on the low because I don't want to dry it too fast right now and I'm trying to blow some of the ink back up against this cup right here you want to dry the ink around the cups and then you're going to end up what I the person that I've been following Oh, okay. There you go. That's cool, Tish. Um, okay, so what I'm doing is, is I'm um, drying the ink. Around the cups. That's why I use the heavyweight uh, UFO paper, because I didn't want it to... Uh, I didn't want it to um, um, buckle. Yupo paper might buckle with the heat a little bit, but it's pretty good about, you know, going back once it's cooled off. Now, the next step I've seen people doing, I've seen Teresa Kovic doing, and I forgot to put a link to her channel down below. She's the one I've watched the most on this, is... She lifts it up just a little bit to kind of dry what's underneath there. Yep, it's trying to seep out. So let me leave that one for a little bit. You just want to lift it up a little bit to, to get the air to go under there. Oh my God, let me guess, Brian wanted it. Huh. Right, Sally, Brian wanted it. You want the ink to dry a little bit under there before you lift the cup completely up. Now there wasn't a whole lot of ink over here, so I may not have a problem with this one. Yep, this one looks like it's good. Now I always hold it up high up in the air. I don't want it to blow the ink, I just want it to dry the ink. Well, that purple is a mixture of magenta, rose, and Prussian blue. Oh, okay. Okay, Sally. Well, I knew I had a 50-50 chance of getting it right. <laughs> Sorry. Now, I want to keep my ring, so I'm, I'm kind of turning this a little bit in place. So it so it keeps the uh keeps the uh ink separated. The 
Okay, this one looks dry enough to where I have my my heat gun. Well, not heat gun. My heating to my air, air tool, my ha hairbrush, I guess you could call it. I have it about six to eight inches above everything. Because you don't want to blow it around. You just want to dry it. Okay, let me see how this one looks. Yep, this one looks pretty good. To clean your glasses off, because I've done a couple of them so far, you just take a paper towel put some alcohol in it and then kind of rub it all over and it'll dry okay now this one looks like it's got a pretty big wet spot so I'm trying to keep the ink towards the middle and I've learned most of these tricks from Teresa Kovic or um, I can't even pronounce her name. K I know it starts with K-O-V. Okay, my ring looks a little... It d doesn't look a little perfect right there. So, what I'm doing is, is I'm putting my cup back on there. Kind of turning it in a circle... Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Now I'm just drying everything. Well, there's a couple of people that have done this before, Melinda. That's what he said. Um, I'm not sure what I said to get that comment from you. Now, because I'm not that great at this yet... I know some people like to have perfect rings, but I'm just happy I got rings, okay? But I do think, I'm going to show you, I think that I can take a Q-tip, <coughs> oh, excuse me, and go over those lines just a little bit. Okay, okay, done with the air. Uh, Q-tips, Q-tips, Q-tips. I just got a whole new box out the other day. Open here. Okay, I'll open you here. Uh, and of course, a whole gazillion of them fall out. There we go. Okay. Uh, I need I need a cup for some alcohol to dip it in. Now, when you're... Huh. I didn't know that, Amber. Um, I noticed a problem I was having with a couple of my lives. It wasn't that they were taken down. It was still said they were live and it wasn't showing anything. And I, I figured out what it was. Okay, first I want to go in there with a little bit of alcohol. Now, I'm basically, I got some pure alcohol in there, and I'm touching the Q-tip in there. Then you always want to get the excess off. Okay, and I'm just going to try to go in there very carefully. And clean up the lines a little bit. You don't want to push the Q-tip down too hard or you'll push the alcohol out of it. Okay. And, well, I had a problem with my life and Tish and I were on the phone last night. 
Um, uh, no, that's not what it is, Melinda. Let me tell you what happened to mine, and we figured it out last night. Tish and I, well, she mentioned something, and I went and checked it, and duh. Okay, um, I had a live yesterday. I go to my software to turn it off, and when I turn it off, it doesn't turn it off from YouTube now for some reason. So... I have to now, after my live, I have to go, um, um, I have to go, um, over to, um, uh, my YouTube, uh, live stream studio, I guess it's called on, in my, in, inside YouTube, and, end the stream there, too. Okay. I wanted to clean this line up just a little bit. So, but, um, as far as a bunch of them have being pulled, that I don't know. I will tell you this. YouTube right now is not manned by a lot of physical people, okay? So what it is, okay, thank you, Tish. <laughs> yeah, Tish said it best. That's what Tish said. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. You know, I sit here and I don't talk to people all day and then I start talking on my live and I got a dry, scratchy throat from just starting to talk a lot. But I'm not one of those that talks to the TV, so... Oh, okay. I didn't think of that. And, um, I'm going to do some of the embellishments on this today after I get my circle cleaned up. But, um, I'm thinking of doing some more alcohol videos next weekend. And I'm going to start giving away um, some of the pieces of art. I mean, they're not going to be framed or mounted on anything. They're, it's just going to be the alcohol ink with my signature sealed with the Krylon spray. But I'm thinking of next Saturday doing another, uh, another live to do uh, maybe the landscape one and giving it away. So, how many people here think that's a good idea? I realize there's a lag, so I'll wait for some answers. And I might even do free shipping in the United States on it, because it's... <coughs> All I got to do is put it in a big envelope and put it, uh, put it with some cardboard. Find and channel shut down because evidently they are the reason kids are watching. Okay, thank you, Sally. Thank you, Roxy. Thank you, Marilyn. Yeah, Marilyn, what I do for my giveaways, this is the way I like to do my giveaways during a live. Um, I'll write down a number on a piece of paper, okay? And I'll put the uh I'll put it in an envelope. And then I'll tell you guys to just start typing numbers in the chat, okay? And yeah, the chat rolls pretty fast. But um, what I do is, is I watch it. When I see the number, I holler stop. Because you can type more than one number, okay? You can just keep typing numbers all over the place. Usually I do, t I t uh, ask for numbers 1 to 100. And, um... Um, um, and you've got to keep an eye on, um, um, Sally's, uh, son and daughter-in-law. They seem to win a lot. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, free shipping in the United States. 
you know, it's just going to be, it's going to be unframed, but you can always, you know, get a frame for it. It'll be sealed with the Krylon spray, so that way you don't have to worry about putting a glass over it. And you see my little Q-tip cleaned up a lot of this. So you don't need to have perfect circles. Yeah, I know, for real, Tish. I think that's why everybody lately has had problems with the buffering. Especially when a live is during the day, during the normal hours. <laughs> you told them to stay out. I know they love my paintings. I know they love my paintings. Now it can become, when I do these, um, oh, hi. Well, hello, Miss Anne. How are you doing? I know you're still working. This is my friend Anne, who her and her husband own the house next to my building. Hello, Angelina. Uh, okay. The paper that I got, Anne, is uh, Yupo paper, okay? And um, I'm using the heavy weight because I didn't want it to buckle with the heat. Then I used 91% alcohol and some colors. And I got my colors. Um, hang on a second. This lid is crooked before I show it to the camera. Come on. Go down straight. Okay. I used uh, three colors. Uh, a Bria Reese ink. I got a medium magenta, a rose, and a Prussian blue, and it mixed with um, everything um, to make the purplish, which I don't mind, you know. I still got my Prussian blue right here. And um, then the, um, wait a minute, let me get a clean Q-tip. Um, and then you get, you, you, you either raid your liquor cabinet and get cups like this, or cups like this. I always recommend the glass ones and the heavy bottomed ones because when you put your alcohol and your colors down, um, then you put your cups down and then you have to go back and watch it. It's how you, how you dry this stuff. And all I'm doing right now is cleaning up my little circles that I think are not exactly good and they're pretty easy to do and um if you ever want to meet me next door when it's not too hot or not too cold in there um we can we can uh do a little private lesson I mean, you know, I don't mind sitting at a table that's a little dirty or at a board between two sawhorses because I know there's no furniture over there. Okay, this one looks just a little bit funky, that little spot. Okay, that looks good. Um, the only other tool that you need, um, Anne, is you need a, a hair dryer and I just use this little, uh, what, um, it's a hot airbrush, and I just turn it on low. Now, all I'm doing right now is just drying where I did, was just wiping at. So I put it on low, and I put it up about, this is about, um, oh yeah, that's right, you couldn't get near me right now. Would, oops, sorry. Would that be a gathering of uh, uh, if if we were just sitting there, or is it because of your job you can't be near people, strangers? Because I know you're still working. You are part of the uh, essential businesses. Thank you so much, Angelina. 
Um, anyway, well, I'm going to see if I can do some other little dots around it. Um, oh, hello, Elisa. Fur Mama E is here. Okay. Now I'm just going to do some little dots, picking up some of the ink. If you do this very, very carefully, and I'm going to clean it off. That's why you need some paper towels near you. If you do it very carefully, touching it with the to get rid of the, most of the alcohol, and then touching it lightly on the paper, you get little dots. Oh, tell me about it. Tell me about it, Anne. Yeah, because of uh, the, all the seniors here. Thank you so much, Roxy. You don't want a whole lot of alcohol on your Q-tip. There's other things you can use. Um, you could use a paintbrush, but that wouldn't give you a perfect circle. You can use those things called dotting tools. And see, I'm picking up ink while I do that. So you also you also got to kind of go over here and clean off the ink. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some dots around the big circle. This is kind of tedious, but it's kind of, how do you put it, it's kind of um, relaxing, too. Dead grass, some shells, and the ones, and the ones with fur poo in a one-fourth of the backyard. <laughs> well, you need to teach Tater how to use a bathroom, Okay. That way he won't be going in the uh, in the uh, yard. And then while you're at it, teach Tater how to flush the toilet too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I picking on your puppy? See, now I had too much alcohol right here and I ended up getting these dots a little bit too big. So that's why it's very, very important you try not to have too much alcohol on there. And you don't need a lot of fancy tools to do this. I mean, I got, okay, yeah, you need the hair dryer, but every one of us has probably got a hair dryer down in the in the linen closet or down below the uh, bathroom sink that um, we just don't use anymore. And then um, the glasses are something I picked up at the thrift store. And as soon as they open up again, which that's up to our governor, really, when these stores can open back up again. Um, um, you can... Um, um, buy some at the thrift store. I need to get some more smaller ones. I don't have enough smaller ones. Oh, and Anne, I forgot to tell you. Tell Niels I said hi. Because I don't park out on the street anymore, so I don't see him anymore. Oh, and Sally, Ann uh, Nielsen is the one that did all those beautiful sunflowers you used to look at every that one summer. She's the one that planted those in that uh, next to that building that was across from your apartment. Small world, huh? All 
Oh. Uh, with a Q-tip, it's hard to get the circles all the same size and perfect. Because as I'm pushing it down, I'm flattening out the Q-tip and spreading it out a little bit. But these are neat ways to embellish it, you know. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any um, ink with Posca pens. I did get a set of Posca pens the other day, but not the uh, fine line ones. Um, okay, let me see. Well, I didn't think I didn't know what was going to be up and what was going to be down. There you go, Anne. A compliment on your sunflowers. Um, I didn't know which one would be the, uh, see, I ended up getting, had too much alcohol. And ended up making too big of a dot. Okay. I'm going, as soon as I finish one more row of these over here, I'm going to switch to a dotting tool, which I will put a link down below the video for those, too. I got links down below the video for the 91% alcohol. And the, uh, okay, where is my little dotting tools? Uh, I don't know if I have, uh, well... That's what dotting tools are. They use them in that stuff called uh, Mandela art um, or dot, uh, dot art. And basically, you just stick it in there, okay? And then, of course, you've still got to tap it, but it doesn't keep as much alcohol on it as a Q-tip does. Clean it off. Hmm. Maybe I don't have to get rid of the alcohol first. Yeah. Well, I don't know now. Oh, thank you very much, Elisa. So I think next Sunday, I mean next Saturday... Uh, sometime in the afternoon. I'm going to do another um, alcohol ink with a, a landscape of some sort based on Jay Lee's painting. And I'm going to give away um, give away uh, this week's painting. So sometime during the live that day I will um, be doing the giveaway and then all you got to do is just get a hold of me and tell me your zip code. And if you're in another country, you need to tell me that. And then... Oh, okay. See, I don't know everything there is, Elisa, about alcohol. I do need to clean the ink off of there. Okay, there's a pro tip for you that I just got from Elisa. It is, oh, let me clean it off. You dip it in the alcohol, you tap it on the side of the cup, and then you do your little dotting. And I will give you the safety precautions for doing this which is work in a well-ventilated area, wear a respirator or a mask if it's not well-ventilated, wear gloves because this ink doesn't come off of your skin that easy unless you want to scrub, scrub, scrub. Um, and then the only other thing I can... T uh, those are about the only safety precautions with this, you know. Then you have to get it to dry. 
before you spray it with the Krylon, which is the Krylon Archival UV Protectant Spray. Okay, let me see if I got a different size. What size is this? Oh, these are both teeny tiny. I have two others. I know they're in here somewhere. Aha, there they are. Aha. Looking for a ball. Okay, there we go. This one looks a little bit, oh, this one looks a little bit smaller than the one I was just using. I'm tapping it on the side of the cup like Elisa suggested and then I'm, I'm getting only really two dots out of it oh that one had a lot of alcohol on it uh oh well nothing's ever perfect in art doesn't take a real artistic ability to do this it's just you got to kind of learn how to handle the alcohol okay this one got a real wonky one right here oh well nothing i can do about that See, I got another big dot. Oh, well. I am thinking of taking the course. There is a course out there by this lady named the Colorful Artist or Hardest. Or, um, and I'm looking at my finances to see about taking the course because I really, really do love playing with alcohol inks. Well, hello, Miss Cheryl. I am so glad to see that you made it today. I think I saw you right at the end of yesterday's. And, but I wasn't on very long yesterday. Oh, see, now I got it too big. Um, I wasn't on that long yesterday either. Oh, see, I'm getting that big dot in there. And I don't want the big dot. I want the little dots. Oh, Cheryl, I figured out what was wrong with my video the other day. The one that you couldn't go back and watch. I still had it in um, the live stream studio part. It said it was still streaming. And now what I have to do when I end it in OBS, when I stop streaming through OBS, then I need to go over to the YouTube page for the, cr the creator part. Well, I'll let you know how it is, Elisa. If you can see that behind my glasses. I'm waiting for her to uh, send me a code. She doesn't have a code right now. And what's really neat about her course is she's on a website that um, actually uh, Rakuten or Radican or the one that used to be Ebates. I still can't pronounce it. Um, anyway, I get like a 15% a back on my... Um, on my uh, uh, Ebates account. I'm going to keep calling it Ebates. I swear I can't pronounce that other word. But when I say Ebates, everybody knows what I'm talking about, I hope. 
He's funny picking his way through the yard, working up, avoiding all the poo. <laughs> good dog, Tater. Good dog. You don't want him stepping in the poo and bringing it inside, do you? Okay. For those of you that didn't get here when I was creating the circles, I will make sure that I get it to, to where you can do the replay um, in a little bit. And... Um, it's, it's not that hard. It takes a while. I mean, you know, and right now it's going to be hard for, unless you guys got a whole bunch of weird little glasses in your, uh, liquor cabinet. Um, you know, <laughs> look at this one, Tish, Toronto Maple Leafs. <laughs> hey, I got it at the thrift store, but you want the heavyweight, that bought glasses that are heavyweight in the bottom. And, um, that way they don't move around. Although they still try to, they still try to do that. Um, um, when it's all slick with the alcohol. So, I will make sure that the replay is there for everybody after I'm done. Now that, now that Miss Tish has helped me figure out what I did wrong. And, um, anybody, um, you know, I've got time. Everybody else has got time, too. Um, those of you that are have um, Facebook Messenger on your phone, if you want to text me, and we can set up a time. Oh, true. Okay. Hockey's hockey. Um, if you got Facebook Messenger on your phone, and you want to message me and set up a time, um, we can do a, a, a hour or two over Facebook uh, FaceTiming, I guess you would call it, on um, Messenger, or video chatting. And... We can go step by step through this if you want. I got time. I'm sure everybody else does too. I don't mind doing lessons over uh, Facebook Messenger. But the me Facebook Messenger has to be on your phone. Because it, ha it has to be able to um, access a camera. Okay, well, I say, let, let me get my, um, let me get my thing out. Oh, when I have alcohol that's a little, um, a little bad, I have a jar that I've been soaking my chains in, uh, my, uh, resin chains, and later I will just add the alcohol to this so it can help get rid of the resin off of my chains. Now, let me hit it with the uh, hair dryer real quick to dry up any wet spots I might have left. And then I will bring it in for a close-up. There's other ways you can embellish these. I haven't explored all the ways yet. But, Yeah, Cheryl, all you got to do is get Facebook Messenger on your phone. We can't do it over the computer. It has to be from phone to phone. But, yeah, I have the time to do it, you know. I can't go anywhere. The rest of you can't go anywhere. Okay. I got a couple little boo-boos where I had too much alcohol on some, whatever I was using. But, here we go. Yeah, I because I've been using chains um, in resin, and it's good just to soak them in the alcohol, uh, Elisa. That's what I've been doing, just pouring my extra alcohol in there. Can't help it about the alcohol I got all over the paper towels. 
And yes, you go through a mess of paper towels with this stuff. But I don't know how much it's focusing. Oh, true, I could do that. But, um, okay, well. Um, I think I can get on the free one for an hour without going live and without it counting against my time. So, um, message me. Message me on, um, um, Facebook, um, Messenger, and we will figure out, um, a way to do it. We can do a test on, um, on stream yards and I don't know which way this should go that's gonna be the night well maybe it can go maybe it can go this way it can go this way that's what I like about alcoholings it can go this way I'm going to go back in there before I spray it I'm gonna clean up a couple little spots later where it got into the circle and then I'm going to sign it. A vinyl pattern of some gears. It would look really cool with bubbles like that. Well, you have to send me a picture of it. And we'll see what, we'll see what we can do. Don't you have alcohol ink, um, Tish? I thought you did. And the other job that you have to do when you're done is you've got to clean up. Got to clean up the edges of your glasses. To get the alcohol off so because if you put it on top of another piece and you put this purplish one inside of a yellow you get mud so you don't want to do that so thank you everybody for coming out i am not an expert at this i'm still learning but i'm teaching you guys what i have learned and learning more thank you miss um elisa and um I don't know if I'm going to be going live tomorrow because Tish goes live tomorrow, but I will be back Tuesday at my normal time at 6.30 doing resin and I'm pretty sure, let me see, Monday, I'm pretty sure Tish is going live at, um, at, um, 3.30, jeez, so, um, so um you can um 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 watch Tish tomorrow the artist haven at 3:30 on her channel and then I will be on at 6:30 on Tuesday and Tuesdays she goes live at 9:30 <laughs> Thank you very much Cheryl I watch too many YouTube videos of other people okay so I hope you guys did learn some stuff on this and I'm going to let y'all go so everybody can enjoy the rest of their day. And for those of you that came in late, you can go back and watch the uh, replay. And save your gloves. Gloves are in short supply right now. So I love the fluid arts right out of you guys. All of my subscribers, y'all are awesome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget to kill to click the little bell for the notifications and when you do that make sure you go up to all so you're notified of all my videos and let me see uh my time zone here is uh central daylight time it's right now 2 48 in the afternoon oh thank you marilyn i don't know if you're interested in resin but i do resin art on um on uh tuesdays Take care, Sally. Tell the kiddos and the grandkiddos I said hello. Okay. Um, and um, let me see. Oh, um, don't forget to set the bell to, um, you're very welcome, Roxy, to all so you don't miss any of my notifications. And for those of you that, he those of you that are here today, smash that like button. Don't pussyfoot and just push it. Smash that like button. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's I got that from Tish. Tish likes to smash things. And um all I can say is I love you guys. Bye for now.